In this task, we will define a new grass location and map set to serve as our working environment for the unsupervised classification. I'm going to open GrassGIS 6.4.4. This will open the Welcome to GrassGIS window and possibly a command prompt. You can ignore the command prompt for this exercise. We will use this welcome window to create our new location. So click the Browse button and navigate to the Lab 6 data folder. Create a new folder named Grass Data and select this new Grass Data folder and click OK. This will be the database. Now I'm going to click the Location Wizard button and this will open the Define New Grass Location Wizard. I'm going to verify that the GIS data directory points to the lab directory and it does. I'm going to select the, select, set the project location and location title both to Sacramento. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to choose Select EPSG Code of Spatial Reference System. And I'm to click Next. And I'm going to search for EPSG Code 3309. Press Enter. I'm going to choose NAD27 California Albers. I'm going to click Next the select data transformation window appears and I'm going to choose one use and whole NAD27 region. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to click finish after reviewing the summary. If uh, since I received the dialog saying that I should change the GIS data directory default I'm just going to click OK to dismiss that because I'm not interested in doing that now. A dialog named uh, location Sacramento created will appear asking if we wish to set the default region extents and resolution now. We're going to click no. Another dialog box named create new map set will appear asking if we wish to create a new map set. Enter classification and then click OK. You should now have the Sacramento and two map sets created in the GIS database. We can now start our grass GIS project. So select the classification uh, map set and click start grass button. This will open the grass GUI.